What's up everyone, Saggy Melons here with another video. In this video, we are going to talk about five theories that I have about the Netflix original series, Sweet Home. Now, if you haven't seen Sweet Home, please stop this video, go watch and finish the entire 10 episodes of Sweet Home, come back because there will be spoilers in this video. And because I don't want to butcher the character names, I chose names to refer them as based on the characteristics of them in the show. So the characters' names are gonna be Lonely Gamer, med student, firefighter, and the gangster. That way, you guys know who I'm talking about. If you guys are new here, please like and subscribe to the channel. And now, let's get into five theories about Sweet Home. Let's start with number five. The gangster is dead, and the shape-shifting monster has occupied his body. The final episode of Sweet Home had a lot going on, and a couple of prominent characters actually died. Yeah, they went Game of Thrones in this episode. But one of the main characters that I was really shocked that died was the gangster. But then, later on in the episode, in the final shot, you see the gangster with the lonely gamer, fine and well, no longer with a scar on his face, and you're sitting there like, what? However, a lot of people have been theorizing, and it's the most likely theory to actually be real, is that the gangster is actually occupied by a shape-shifting monster. I'm actually going to let the drama young explain it a little bit better than I could. Lastly, let's talk about the ending scene in which Sangbuk is seen driving Hyunso in a military car. There is so much confusion because we have seen Sangbuk die exactly because it is not Sangbuk who is driving. Remember the scene where the jelly-like residue of special infecty monster goes into the car and it starts. The special infecty monster body was melted by Hyunso, but we know that he can change forms and go in other bodies like he went into that Ajma's body. Similarly, the monster went into Sangwook's body. Hyunso was not caught by the military. Hyunso was saved by the special infecty monster. Next up at number four, we have the med student is not dead. He is going to return as a monster. The med student was one of my favorite characters. He started off as being very cold, coming off very uncaring, made tough decisions that a lot of people didn't understand or agree with, which made him a really interesting character, especially towards the end of this series. It wasn't until the final episode that we got to see the med student actually show us that he was not cold and he actually did have emotion and did care about the people he was trying to protect. In this last act of heroism, the med student left the group that were fleeing from the building that was crumbling down on them and the soldiers that were outside with guns blazing. He went back to try to help the Lonely Gamer, but the Lonely Gamer had his mindset and he was going to face the soldiers to protect his friends. And the med student, instead of rejoining the group, went to the security office and sat there awaiting for the building to crumble down on him. With tears in his eyes, listening to his sister's favorite music and looking at a family photo, you would think, why is he letting himself die? Why didn't he just return back to the group? We soon see blood drop on the picture he's looking at, which is an indicator he most likely has a nosebleed. And a nosebleed is one of the big indicators that a human is turning into a monster. Med student must have known this and used the excuse to go help Lonely Gamer because it was he was either going to die with Lonely Gamer or die alone. But either way, he didn't want the group to know that he was going to become a monster. But that also paves way that he's going to probably come back as a monster. So I think that's probably my, my one of my favorite theories is that the med student is going to turn into a monster and reunite with his group. But what kind of monster he comes back with? Well, stay tuned for my final theory and you might have a better idea. Number three, the firefighter is working with the military. Unlike the last two theories that have a lot to pretty much support those theories, this one is just my observation. 
We find out in the middle of the season that the firefighter used to be a soldier and her fiance did know about the monsters possibly becoming one himself. And at the very final episode, we do see the military apprehend the survivors, but they let the firefighter go, gave her a vehicle and gave her weapons and sent her on her way. Now, I think that the firefighter and her fiance were a part of wherever these military groups are, are from. Uh, the organization that are trying to experiment on the monsters so i think that there are ties there because yeah that just makes sense to me number two what is in that briefcase so the firefighter finds this briefcase in her fiance's office and finds notes where he states that this is not a disease it is a curse now what I believe is in that briefcase is actually what starts the curse. Maybe a scripture, maybe a tome, but that's what I think's in there. We won't know for sure until next season, so yeah. And last but not least, at number one, the Lonely Gamer is a special kind of monster because he doesn't have selfish desires. It's explained at the beginning of the show that people become monsters when they have desires and their monster forms usually reflect on what it was they actually did desire. In Lonely Gamer's case, his desire was he wanted to end his life. He felt guilty for what happened to his family, so that was his desire at that moment was to die, which activated his curse. And because it's a curse, his monster form, basically, he couldn't die. He rejuvenated when he got injured, so it gave him the opposite of what he desired. And in the final episode, his monster form actually changed. His desire was no longer the same at that point. Instead of wanting to die, he wanted to survive to protect his friends. And that's when his monster form changed into something else. This is also why I feel like the med student's gonna come back as a monster because he had pretty pure desires to save people. And he has a strong will, so we'll see what happens. But those are my five theories. Hope you liked them. If you guys have theories of your own, please leave them in the comments below. And again, hit the like, hit the subscribe, share, all that good stuff that YouTubers say. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!